Mining jobs, basic requirements for hard rock mining. Welcome to Australian Mining for New Starters. Today I want to talk about the basic requirements that people need to meet for the hard rock mining jobs. So these are your pit jobs and your underground jobs that people go for. These aren't the requirements for coal or for shutdown work or construction work. Those require completely different things. These are for the hard rock mining jobs. So to do this, we're going to have a look at the sponsor's website. They've got a mining career checklist that we're going to go through. And again, this is for hard rock mining. So you need to be able to pass a full medical. Now, lately in the medicals, I'd normally tell people that you need to be walking fit to be able to pass the medical, but they are cracking down on high BMI. So just make sure that your, um, your BMI is in line, or if you've got a really big BMI, then maybe you need to reassess that before you have a look at trying to get in obviously you need to be able to pass a drug test and provide a police clearance now i've just done a video on police clearances so you can refer back to that you'll need to have a manual driver's license for underground now the reason for that is because the act in wa says that all the light vehicles so the utes that are driven underground none of them can be automatic they all have to be manual and they all have to be locked out to third gear so that's why if you work underground you'll see all the um adverts or if you're looking for underground jobs they'll all, all ask for a manual driver's license now, if you want to work on the surface in a pit, you'll need a HR license. Now, one of the reasons for that is that a lot of the open pits have gazetted roads running through them. So once you um, hit a gazetted road with a, uh, a truck that's more than 15 tonnes, you need a HR license for it, even if it is an automatic truck. Now, you need to be able to get a first aid ticket or already have done one. You need to be able to work 12-hour shifts. So by the time you um, get on the bus in the morning to when you get on the bus at the end of the day, you're probably doing 13 hours all up. You need to be able to work night shift. A lot of people have trouble adjusting to night shift. It's um, It can do a few people in, and I've seen a few people lose a career because of it or not being able to start a career because of it more um more appropriately um, being able to small, uh, fly on small planes and being comfortable on small planes um, a lot of sites fly smaller planes to site some people do well on them some people don't when someone tells you those small planes um, when the engine stops they uh, glide I can tell you that they're lying they drop like rocks so I've had some wonderful flying experiences on some smaller planes um, being able to work in a hazardous environment um, when you're working in a mine you really should be doing a risk assessment from the moment you step on the bus in the morning to the moment that you step off and everything else in between um, often with hard rock underground they want you to do a working at heights because believe it or not a lot of work is um, done at heights in the IT baskets in service crew so you need a working at heights um, obviously you need to be able to relocate I'm going to do a video on talking about that and being committed to work safely so these are just some of the things that you need to know um, that you need to meet to be able to get into the industry um, you know obviously you need to meet their other requirements but the best thing you can do if you want to present to the employer is present to someone that knows what they're getting themselves into so obviously um, you can use the sponsors training for that but um, if you want to um, find out more about it just um, hit the hit up the contact us today area here and someone will get in contact with you and have a bit of a chat about it all so i hope that information helps and it goes into what you need um to do to be able to get into a, the hard rock underground or the open pit side of things and again these requirements for hard rock and they're not for coal or for construction or for shutdown that's a different area of the industry which requires a different approach so I hope you find that information helpful. And if you've got any more questions that you want answered, um, please send them through to the Australian Mining for New Starters channel or the Facebook page. Um, if you're interested, we do post jobs on the Facebook page quite regularly um, for people that have got their mining knowledge up to speed. And so I hope you enjoyed that video. And if you could share it around and like and subscribe the channel. Thanks.